Hello, in the previous tutorial, we create our first generic portlet. In this tutorial, we change this portlet by using annotation. So, first change do view method. For this, we need to use annotation. At the rate and the mode. And as we use our mode as view, so just provide the value view and now you can change anything for the name of your method like my view for action method we use some other annotation and delete process action and provide name For this, in our view.gsp, in the portlet name, where we create an action URL, we provide the name as my action method. This name is exactly same as this one. So that's it. So look it's available so look it's call is proper so let's create a render url So when we click on this URL, my view method is called. So by default, my view method is called always this, but I need to redirect to some other page. So like JSP file. So I want when I click on this it will redirect to greeting.jsp but by default it will go to there so we need to send a parameter so I to redirect in value So I set the value
so if redirect equals to greeting so send to other page otherwise send to the default page the path okay so in the view.jsp when i click on this this render url is used and send a parameter redirect on the jsp on the action class we fetch this redirect and if it equals to greeting then send to this otherwise send to default so let's build this so when up so portrait is deployed Let's check the flow. So action method is called properly. Now click on this one. And look, it will direct to my new JSP. So the benefit of uh, using annotation is if you are using annotation, then you can handle multiple form action the same page like this is first form and like this is my second form i give it a name as two so so if you are not using annotation then this action also comes to process action method and in the process action method you have to check the parameter like if else and then accordingly handle but if you are using annotation then you can create other method and just change the name to this this and create a action url So that's it. If you are using annotation, then you can handle multiple action methods. But if you are using process action method without any annotation, then all the action comes to process action and you have to check if else and other things. So I think annotation is much better way to handle multiple forms. So that's it for now. And in the next tutorial, we will see MVC portlet. And if you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.